Hello Blue Peter, my name is Tom Wheatsley and my dream is to be your new Blue Peter presenter. Right, so where do I begin? Well, like most aspiring dreams, they usually start from a young age and mine is no exception. When I was young, I would run home from school as fast as I could to catch the beginning of Blue Peter and I would sit there in front of my telly in my purple blazer, probably developing a bad case of square eyes, but loving every single episode. And it would be my dream that one day I would get to sit on the Blue Peter couch. But actually, this dream came true sooner than I thought it would. Coming up, we meet the voice of Christopher Robin. It's called Piglet's Big Movie, and I'm lucky enough to be joined here by one of the cast members, 12-year-old Tom Wheatley. Tom, how are you? Oh, I'm fine, thanks, Do you want a bit of popcorn oh, there? Oh, yeah, that'd be great. Now, <laughs> you actually... Everyone will come along, and if you see the North Pole, shout, Eureka! Everyone will come along, and if you see the North Pole, shout, Eureka! Um, I think you've got a bit too much of a deep voice for a seven-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> Tom is lovely, isn't he? Yeah, guy. such a cool guy. Right, so why me? Well, as an actor, I've never been afraid of an audience, but equally, I'd love to pursue a diverse range of interests. From skydiving to trampolining, from rugby to ballet, I've always loved giving things my all. And finally, I've taught musical theatre to young people and found that enthusiasm is infectious and that there is no greater reward than inspiring young people and showing them that it is fun to forget limitations and try and exceed all expectations. And so, because of Winnie the Pooh giving me that amazing experience of actually being on Blue Peter, I hope by taking you on the actual journey of Winnie the Pooh, this could be the start of a real journey for me with Blue Peter. Now we all know Christopher Robin and Winnie the Pooh from the books, TV and films, but what you guys may not know is that Christopher Robin was a real person who owned a real teddy bear named Winnie the Pooh that they played and grew up here in Ashdown Forest, or as you guys may know it, the Hundred Acre Wood. The story really began 92 years ago, and little did Christopher Robin's mum know when she bought her son a small teddy bear from a London store just what might follow. When Christopher Robin was five years old, he visited London Zoo, where he loved to go see a young black bear cub. The bear cub had been donated to the zoo by a Canadian officer, who named the bear after his hometown of Winnipeg, hence the name Winnie. Amazingly, Winnie was so friendly, children were allowed to stroke and feed her. Here's a picture of Christopher Robin actually feeding Winnie. And by the way, Winnie did have a sweet tooth, just like Winnie the Pooh. But it wasn't for honey. She liked condensed milk. Nice. Christopher decided to name his own teddy bear Winnie. And when the family moved to Cotchford Farm near Ashdown Forest, which is just over there, Chris Robin's father, A.A. Mill, began to write stories about his son and the adventures he'd had with Winnie and the other toys. The books became so popular, they have been translated into over 50 languages. Disney have made films about them, and millions of toys and items of merchandise have been sold. All because of one boy and his bear. So what happened to the actual teddy bear? Well, in 1951, A.A. Mill agreed that Pooh and his other friends could visit America on temporary loan to help promote the new editions of the books. It was expected that the toys would tour around America before being shipped back home to England. But unfortunately, this never happened. You might recognise this very bridge from the stories. This is where the game Pooh Sticks was actually created. And it'd be nice to think that one day, Pooh will revisit here. But for now, I'm going to have a game of Pooh Sticks. Well, 